Hello guys, this is Wasim here at the Plumbing Doctors. So this video is all about the thermostat, thermostat, specifically for landlords uh, with HMOs, but landlords in general can use this. So what this thermostat will do, it will stop your tenants leaving the heating on all day. So if you're going into your property and the tenants have got the heating on all day, every day, so you're coming there summertime, it's blazing hot outside, you've got to take your clothes off, but guess what, tenants have got the heating on. And they, they don't care, they just leave the windows wide open. I don't know why, it makes no sense to me, but they do it. So this is for them landlords who want to control the heating. Stay tuned, I'm going to give you a product review, I'm going to show you how to install it, and everything you need to know. This is what you get in the box. You get the user guide, and it tells you the location guide. Basically installation stuff that you need for it. They give you the screws. They look half decent, but most of the time I don't use them. I use my own plugs and screws, but you can use them. Then you get the actual thermostat itself, which hangs up on the wall, which comes with two batteries. That would need them two batteries. And then you have the receiver, which actually goes next to the boiler. So now let's install the thermostat. Okay, so in here, if you can see it, you have earth, neutral, live, and all you need to worry about is number one, which is common, and number four, which is the switch from the boiler. So let's get this in there now. So I'm gonna be using five core flex cable, 0.75. You can get a reel of this from tool stations where I normally get it from, I think it's the cheapest place. So as you can see, you've got earth, you've got neutral, you've got live, you've got your common, and then you've got your switch back to the boiler. So I'm gonna hang the thermostat now. Now, when it comes to hanging the thermostat, I like to hang the thermostat above the boiler, always the receiver, I mean. I like to hang the receiver above the boiler. I don't like to put it underneath, it's just in case the boiler starts leaking and stuff like that, components are gonna get wet. So if the boiler did ever leak in the future, it wouldn't hit the, hit the receiver. So it's been wired up, you've got the live incoming to the boiler, just attach it to that. You've got the neutral coming into the boiler, attach it to that. You've got the earth which is coming into the boiler, attach it to that. Then you've got your common and then you've got your switch live which basically goes back to the thermostat. Now with these two wires it makes no difference what way they go because it's just a switch that switches them on and off. Now on different boilers it would be a different arrangement but the wires would be the same, they do the same job. Okay, so now what we've got to do is give power to the receiver and also hang it on the wall. So you find an allen key inside this packet here with all the screws. Open this up. And take this out. So this is where the batteries would go. Um, to take, this is the fixing plate here, so this is what gets fixed to the wall. But as you can see, you can't take it out. So to get it out, you've got to get, undo this screw here. Once you've undone that screw, it then allows this to pop out. So this, uh, this doesn't need any wiring or nothing like that. All you're going to do is put it up against the wall, mark your holes, drill, screw, and hang. Once you've hung it, you then add the batteries, but we're going to show you how to do this one. Okay, so on this thermostat, you have dip switches on the front. You have 10 dip switches on the front. Now these dip switches are to control advanced settings on the thermostat. So it's just same, change parameters on the thermostat, which you can do as a landlord and the tenants cannot do. Now if you refer to this manual, you'll have a manual, and on the manual it will say advanced settings. If you refer to this, it will tell you what each dip, dip switch does. I'll talk you through uh, the dip switches briefly. So the first one is maximum duration. So what that is, is two hour countdown max and the three hour countdown max. So what that basically means is, when the tenant wants heating on, they will come to the thermostat, they will press up and they will also press on uh, the heating. So what that will do is it will allow the, the heating to come on for two hours maximum, 
or you can change it for three hours. So after two or three hours, the tenant will have to come back and press the plus button again, and then they have then the heating will come back on. So it would only stay on for two hours, or you can change that to three hours. You have other functions like auto program mode, so you can set the automatic time periods. You have seasonal mode. You had maximum temperature. So the maximum temperature basically means at the minute it's set at 28 degrees. So the tenant can come here and push it all the way up to 28 degrees, which is really hot. Um, and they can uh, request the heating to come at 28 degrees, up to 28 degrees. Um, so you can change the maximum setting to 23 degrees um, by simply just putting the switch up or down. Okay, so we've had to move the thermostat from the wall because they had sensor lights on and I couldn't explain to you what was going on. So I'm just going to see how it works. So the tenant would come up to it and they'd basically press up, up. So this is saying the duration. So okay, I want it for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours. Most tenants are just going to come and whack it as high as they can. So two hours. Then they're also going to whack this right to the top. So right now the temperature of the room is 24 degrees and the temperature target temperature is 28 degrees so the thermostat is now calling for heat because it wants to reach 28 degrees once it does it will then go back off and you've they've got two hours of heating remaining basically so as you can see this thermostat is very easy to use for the tenant and it's actually very easy to install it's no different from a normal thermostat so if you press the t button you get a 6.30 and you get a 5.30. So what this means is it's got two set program times for the thermostat to come on, regardless of if you touch it or not. So at 6.30, it will call for heat if the temperature is below 21 degrees. And at 5.30, it will come on if the temperature is below 21 degrees. So there's another thermostat similar to this one which we've fitted. It's a bit, a bit more of a smart thermostat. This is what I would say a bog standard one, which does the job. There's another one called Home Animation. You can connect that one to your phone. You can control the hot water if you have cylinders in the property. And like I said, it's remote access and you can monitor it and stuff like that via your phone. This one is bog standard. You literally can only control it physically in front of you. On Home Animation, you can do it on uh, wherever you are, as long as you've got an internet connection, iPad, phone, blah, blah, blah all them type of stuff. Um, if you look at one of my videos, it was Valent twin cylinder of installation if you go towards the, towards the end of that video there's a brief overview of that thermostat which i'm talking about i'll try if i remember to put a link up above somewhere around here if i remember if not to search that video like i said i hope you've enjoyed it guys like and subscribe any comments comment below if you have any thermostats which you guys normally fit let me know if you want any other videos similar let me know thanks guys job done